Hello everybody, my name is Jaakko Aspar, I'm a professor of marketing at Hanken and I'm now here with Professor Christian Grönrus. Uh, hello Christian, uh, and thank you for taking the time for providing us with this course. It's my pleasure. In terms of uh, service in general, before we go into the actual topic videos, I would like to discuss a bit about services in general and what services are. So you tend to say that uh, any firm can basically be a, a service firm. So what do you mean by that? Um, traditionally, service is considered an activity like, like a restaurant service, transportation service, consultancy service, anything like, like, like that. But uh, at the same time, over the years, there's always been this undercurrent of services more like that. It's, it's more like a way of thinking. And, and during the past, say, 15, 20 years, this has surfaced in, in research. And um, what I mean with that any firm can be a service firm, well, that is that uh, it depends on how you approach your market and approach your customers. The, two, uh, the classical way is to deliver, deliver products or even deliver services to your customers for the customer's use. And then the customers need to do their best to make use of the, the product or the service. But there's another option, and that is to um, not deliver resources, products or services, but to help customers and help the customers, let's say, relevant processes um, such that the customer's goal achievement is enabled in, in a way that, that is valuable to the customer. So there's this difference. Deliver products, deliver service, let's say in a general term, deliver resources or help customers and help customers' processes such that they can achieve their goals with resources, whatever kind of resources. Could be products, could be service, could be information, could be anything. And this enables, a, for example, a product manufacturer to become a service firm. It's a matter of the strategic choice, the way we want strategically to approach our customers. And this is very interesting because this makes service growing, it makes service very interesting for any firm that wants to seize the opportunity to create a new strategy. Would you say that service actually, services are actually a synonym for anything physical or tangible or intangible that the customer perceives valuable or helpful or useful? Yes, one could say that. Uh, one could also say that uh, service is a perspective which enables to, so to speak, treat products, services, in principle, in the same way. Right. And what would you say in terms of this course? So what is then the, the big question of this course that the course focuses on in your mind? Yes, the big question here is really to, to uh, emphasize the, the, the principles of service and the principles of managing firms from a service point of view. And it, it's important because service cannot exist without their users. Products can exist without their users. But then when you take the service perspective, a service logic, you immediately have to put your resources aside and start from the market, start from the users, the customers, and develop your way of approaching the market for that. You're well developing resources, creating networks to being able to serve markets and so forth. And this means that a firm that uh, follows this logic and takes this strategic approach immediately becomes customer-centric. I mean, traditionally we talk about any firm should be customer-focused, customer-centric, and there's research on market orientation, customer orientation, but there's always been troubles to implement this. And the reason is that the approach has been wrong. The approach has always uh, included a product idea, and if the product is there, it's in between the firm and the customers. But if you think service, there's nothing in between you and the customer. Welcome to the course. I can promise you, can almost promise you at least, that after you have taken the course, you will have gained a totally new view of what management can be, what management from a customer-centric perspective can be, something you didn't think about before. And you will also see how marketing can be developed and implemented in a totally new way, not as a, a specific function, but uh, as, as a focus on customers.